what I want to start with is go back to the basics and remember something which is extremely important and that everybody sometimes seems to forget. When you use an autogenous transplant, first of all, as, as soon as you harvest it, it's not a living tissue anymore. It is mainly collagen, and collagen is very close to be a synthetic material because we can make synthetic collagen. And this transplant, unfortunately, has to go through a phase of revascularization, remodeling, recolonization. So when you put a graft initially, as soon as you put it, it has the initial strength of the graft. Let's say 100 Newton. After two weeks, six weeks, the strength, the resistance of this graft is losing almost 80% of its resistance. And after this, it takes weeks and weeks and weeks to recover until it reaches the initial resistance of the graft. And this is something we cannot do anything against that because this is the rule of the human condition. It's even worse when you, we use allograft because, because of the sterilization process fresh frozen or gamma radiation or whatever, you damage even more the mechanical resistance of your graft. And there is a long phase during which your graft should not be submitted to any stress, otherwise it will elongate and will keep permanently this elongation. And this was this is the main problem that we have to face when we do autogenous transplant. So, synthetic fibers, they are synthetic also. They, we should not think about them as a prosthetic ligament, but we should think about them as a, what we call a stiff, that is soft tissue internal fixation. Exactly like when you put a plate on a tibia, you don't call it a prosthetic tibia, we, you call it an internal fixation of a tibia. So this is exactly the same with the fibers. The synthetic fibers, they should be mainly considered as a material which is adapted to the internal fixation of soft tissue. The concept of prosthesis is something a little bit completely different. But of course for this, to have this material adapted to the fixation of soft tissue, you have to have a reliable material. So we started to work, I started personally to work in the late 70s on that because I have been impressed by the possibilities which were opened by the very first artificial ligaments. But like everybody, I had to go through misery, disasters, and it did not work. But obviously I saw that the advantage of this concept was so big that instead of giving up and throwing this to the garbage, we, sh we should think more about it and maybe try to improve it. So we started to work on that. And we started to work on a better selection of the fiber, on the mechanical point of view first, and then on the biological point of view. On a mechanical point of view first, we found out 